obviously have to wear red for this lay being Bowser battle time. This is the only time you're going to see Delfino Plaza look like this. So if you have wanted to look at the NPCs, the environment, go talk to the toads. You see this little buddy on the floaties over here. Hey toad, what's going on? The town's flooded. It's like a tidal wave from the sky. Is that what it is? Can you actually talk to this Pianto over here? I'm just dilly-dallying because I've, I've never, like, explored over here. I've never, like, made this happen. Can you talk to this guy? Yeah, you can. Hey, man. I just feel a bit better when I'm wrapped in something. What? My name is Brian Saviano Bricks. Oh, baby, 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 O'Brien. So, yeah, you can't replicate this. It's kind of shocking that they never let you see this version again. Like, it's kind of that situation. In some games, sometimes, they, they let you have a special variant of the hub world, but then you can access it some way, somehow, but yeah, not uh, not Mario Sunshine. So this is Karrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrarrar
So there is a one up right here. Do I feel like going for it? I mean, I can. Might as well. There it is. I think that's the only time I got that. Ooh, I only lost one little itty bit right there. That's fine. So this boss battle, I shouldn't be losing. I shouldn't be. I mean, keyword is shouldn't be. Still could totally happen. So this boss battle is okay. It's not one of the most iconic of all the boss Bowser boss battles in my humble opinion. Wow, I snuck that one through. Easy peasy there. I believe that's the final level of platforms over here. Yeah, there's this. And then there's that. There we go. Up to the tippity top of the clouds to La Corona Mountain. Okay. So it's allegedly a family vacation. Still uses some of the sound effects from paper. No, I'm sorry. Mario Party, I believe. That's what that's from. So the only thing you got to do here is yoink yourself down that way and your momentum causes that to break down toward that way. Um, your rocket nozzle is going to be your best friend here. And if you can't use the rocket nozzle, boy, you're going to have a, a bad time in general. Hi. Oh my goodness, a one-up. How did that work? That's kind of spicy. Okay. So I didn't realize that was going to be the case here. Ooh, okay. Then launch yourself back down. I'm sorry. What just happened? Mama? Ooh, that's very bizarre. Maybe because it wasn't active during that time. Super spicy. Okay. So then, wait. Do this and just kindly move. Kindly move. Kindly. Wow. Whoa. The shifting of the platforms is what did it there, man. Wow. I got one down there. He's going to try to use this fire breath. I don't think it's in a specific rotation or anything. So just do this. He's going to try to shift it back down again. Don't allow him to do it. Do this. Yeah, there we go. And so keep moving like this way, probably. Yeah. Do this. Ha ha. There we go. And the fire breath is going to mess up those bullet bills there. So the other thing to allow is the shadows of where everything is going to be. That's also going to be your benefit. And don't be afraid to jump here either. You know what I mean? You don't always need to use the rocket nozzle for every single little thing. And is this going to catch up to you? No, it looks like it's not going to catch up no matter what. So don't don't feel like you need to dive and dash. Definitely don't dine and dash for sure. Do this. There it is. Follow the shadow. See, as long as you follow the shadow, you're going to be good. And I don't believe there's any water anywhere except for some of the bullet bills. So be aware of that as well. You don't want to rely on that. That's for sure. Now, how do I take it? Oh, there's one more. There's five. I thought there was four. Or no, there are four. I just messed that whole thing up there. Okay. The last one here, you don't have to worry about needing to recover. I believe there's a little cutscene right here. And you'll be good to go. Yeah. Easy squeezy on that shine, man. You thought it'd be a whole process? No siree, Bricks O'Brien. There they go. They're going to fall right into the sand, except for Peach. Just kidding. Peach is going to be totally fine. There we go. Safe and sound. Ding, dong, do, 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 do. You're safe and sound. Flood! No! No! Oh, you're good. You're good. It says game over in the corner. Don't worry about it. So, you know, that's pretty nice. I thought Vinoki was hitting the dab right there. Junior, I've got something 
difficult to tell you about Princess Peach. I know, she's not really my mama. Someday, when I'm bigger... I wanna fight that Mario again. That's my boy. Well put, son. The Royal Cooper Line is as strong as ever. But for now, let's just rest a while. The voice direction for Bowser is probably worse here than it is in the mo in the movie when it comes out. I trust the movie's gonna be good, though. I have faith. <laughs> hey, we just, uh, had a motivational talk. The vacation starts now. Hey! Credits are here. We're not watching them. I'm not done yet. And again, they do nothing with that ever. So, don't get excited about a Super Mario Sunshine sequel with Piantissimo at the wheel. Save it at 50 stars, 51. So now it's time to get back into the Shine Sprites of Delfino Island. That's what I'm gonna do, and then go back to the levels, because I haven't gotten a single one in Delfino Plaza at all. The sun shines bright on a beautiful, grateful universe. The entire island is illuminated, even though we didn't get all the shines, so that's a little sus, but whatever. It's okay. First one I'm getting out of the way here is this one that I have missed before. That was the last shine I got in the last 100% playthrough that I did. It was not done accurately or well. It's this one over here. So you take the rocket nozzle all the way to the top of the lighthouse, provided you don't actually miss it. And just like you did in the Bowser boss battle here, you're supposed to do this first before doing this. Or rather, yeah, do this before the Bowser boss battle, and then you get that shine sprite right there. So I don't know how many shines are in Delfino Plaza, but there is a lot. So it'll take not that much effort to get through all of them, honestly. A lot of them are just floating around. So acquiring them will be just fine. And there is also a 100 coin for Delfino Island as well. But that counts with the airship airship the air strip i should say so that's one one of the things you can do around here as well is blue coins and one of the blue coins is thank you one of the blue coins is these so i haven't done a single one of these the whole playthrough these are littered all throughout the game and that's where blue coins are so you'll need to go from one area to another right over toward here and there you go so it's like a race back and forth, essentially. So you do that a bunch of times and you're solid good to go. Now that Pianta right there that's dancing, he's like, hey, you want to go back to the airstrip and hang out? You can totally do that if you want to. There's assuredly a shine sprite on there as well, but I'm not going to do that right in this moment here because I got other stuff on the mind, all right? One of those things is going into here. Gonna boop right through here. There's another shine sprite, see? Now that I have all the nozzles and stuff, I'm gonna acquire a whole bunch of these shines really easily and get halfway through at the very least right here. So that's pretty sweet. And it resets every single time. So that's the only other thing I could see being a little bit of a pain. Now, one of them I'm gonna get that is fairly iconic. Um, should I leave it till the very end? Should that be the last one? Is that one right there? Polishing off the shine gate. That might be cool as the last one to do, right? I'm gonna leave that one. That'll be the last one I do. That's much more fitting than whatever nonsense that uh, rocket one is there. So, see these little blue birdies over here? These blue birdies are actually blue coins. You gotta get them. You gotta get them. They're floating all throughout here, and they take a certain amount of water before they come back and uh, become blue coins. You have to be a little bit uh, vigilant there. So you see, like that, just like that. And that's also where that nozzle comes in handy for uh, taking care of those situations there. So there's another blue coin over here. I believe it is a blue coin right inside of here. Boop. That just kidding. Actually, do I actually, I don't need this nozzle to do it, but I'm going to do it with this nozzle. Ju I guess I'm not doing it with just this nozzle right here. I will take care of, where's this guy? Where's this guy? Where's the guy who was, yeah, this guy right here. See this guy? 
He's having a bad day. Gotta take care of his bad day, all right? So right here, get this nozzle, use this to calm him down. Just calm him down a little bit here. Uh, you hitting him or doing anything will not calm him down. You just have to spray him with the nozzle and hope it works out. Actually, you probably just follow him. Follow him through here. Yeah, see? His mushrooms are on fire, and he's like, I don't know how to solve this problem. There you go. You get a blue coin out of that one, too. There's another shine sprite, actually, right through here. Do this. You see that? That little spot right there? Use your nozzle on that, and there's another shine sprite. Bada bang, right there. Where you see the open windows in Delfino Plaza, that's also what you're going to use to get some coins. Just like that. Anytime you see uh, an open window, that works out. Those guys that were piantas over there, I think they were fighting the entire time throughout this uh, entire game, but they managed to resolve their differences. So that's cool. Let me grab the other nozzle and get that shine real quick. Here we go. That's the one I wanted to get right here. This is the jail cell where Mario allegedly was. Not much of a jail, though, if Mario could break out literally instantaneously. A cool level involving the rocket nozzle is right inside of Delfino Plaza. So... Bust on through these two gentlemen here, yoink, right through those pearly gates. And this one is a very straightforward one. You have to use this rocket nozzle here. I wish there were more levels like this in the game, honestly. Having the having flood is fun, and I get they want to make it a little more difficult by taking away flood. It's a little bit of a crutch in a way, but having this and this sort of thing is very cool. So... I wish there were just more, maybe not shines, but blue coins or another objective or something that didn't require me to launch myself off like that. Whoops. So, yep. I guess that can happen. My bad. So, they're not super easy either, right? You could have made more levels that had this sort of fun with it. I mean, it's in Delfino Plaza. Maybe that's the whole point. I don't know. So, as long as you maintain being straight here, you'll be good. I recommend zooming out the camera a little bit. That helps. But yeah, there's no way to use a hover nozzle to control yourself. So you're basically at the mercy of that. And if you're a pro gamer like me, you'll land right on the ledge after falling off one time first. So that also happens. There we go. 55. Not bad. If I were really professional, I would have done all of these right in a row and then had no time to save anything at all. There's a green pipe that's also down toward this way. Yeah. See that green pipe back down toward that way? That's also another one of those secret shines. There's another one through those gates. It's a lot of little ones like this. So I'm going to save some of the obvious ones for the next episode, too. There's probably going to be two little sections dedicated to Delfino Island, or rather Delfino Plaza shines. So luckily there's this here. This is a easy one if you know what you're doing. I mean, everything is easy if you know what you're doing, right? You toss yourself out like this. See how far you can go? See how far you can go? There we go. See? Look at that. Right through the middle, and then you are good to go. Just like that. Obviously, if you don't take all that damage down the escalator, essentially there. So, 56. Easy squeezy. Gonna just uh, continue there. So, I think after this episode, I think I'm going to get ice cream. I think I might get Dairy Queen. Well, I, it's it's 6.45 right now, right? So it's 6.45 on Saturday. Saturday is the day where all the teenagers bring their dates to mini golf and get ice cream afterward. And not that I don't appreciate young love. Oh, it's just a coin. Okay, cool. Not that I don't appreciate young love, but also your boy wants ice cream. So, like, what's the most optimal time for me to go and get this ice cream, Jafiel? Is it right now? Is it, like, in a little while? Like, after dinner, do I do it during dinner time? Five head play, potentially, because nobody will be around? That might actually be the play. One thing I'll get over here, instead of me talking about ice cream. You can go underground! Look at that! I haven't done that the entire playthrough either, because I've been so laser-focused on all these shines in the levels. So... Using the uh, dashing move, you can go a little bit faster, too. And that's not quite what I wanted. I wanted to go, like, right here. I'm trying to get underneath the giant section here, which is exactly what I can do over toward this way. There's a couple shines, or there's a shine up in here. 
So there's one thing. There's one thing. Is there not? What? Oh, there's not one in there. All right, never mind. I guess there's not. So clearing off the bells, those are shines. So that's actually two of them I can do right now. That ends up working out a lot better. Oh, that barely helped me out. Interesting, okay. So it looks like I just need to use the regular jumping mechanic there. There we go. So these bells can be a little finicky depending, but just clear them off like this. You may notice that they're not actually clearing anything off, but go on to the exterior here. Uh, using the other clearing ability, like pressing down on the R button, super heavy, doesn't actually do anything, so don't bother doing it. And you can notice like it's not really working right there. I mean, it's kind of working a little bit. See what I mean? It's a little, a little finicky. Like it looks like it's not doing anything, so just be aware of that sort of thing. Do this over here, down to the lower section. I remember playing this when I was younger, and there was like one little bit of ink that I just never got. Like that, it, that little bit right there. See that little bit in black on the bell? I'm like, wait, why? It looks clean. It's not technically clean. That's technically clean. Ah, then it's inside of there. Oh, okay, that I had the right idea, just not the right execution. Okay. That's fair. Do this. Back over here. So there's actually two bells in Delfino Plaza. So that's just the first of two. And there's more birds as well. You know the birds that I got? There we go. Nice. 57. I'll probably get like 60 before I get out of here. Yeah, get halfway through the game. Why not, right? Just continue on through. Maintain momentum. Let me grab that other bell. And then I can grab two of them that are very spicy, one right after another. The other bell is right over here, so you're gonna yoink over to here. Can't grab it on the first try, that's okay though. That's all right. And I don't believe there's a way for you to get up here unless you have the uh, rocket nozzle, so don't bother trying. But what's really cool also is this actually impacts the sound throughout the game. So when you enter Delfino Plaza for the first time, oh, you can actually see the, the water clearing off the belt. Interesting. When you go to Delfino Plaza, you can see, or rather hear the music change ever so slightly. So that's very cool. This bell is taken forever. Come on. Over toward here. Like you can see the particle is getting so slightly smaller. Little by little by little. Yeah, there we go. Almost a full tank of water on these bells. Big old bronze bells. Yeah. There it is. That one's gonna be spicy to get to. Do I have enough water? Yeah, I do. I do. There we go. Nope. Just kidding. Can I get a... Oh, yeah. Can I get another? Uh, nope. Just kidding. Can I get another? Oh, yeah. There it is. I'm like, wait. Can I get to the top there? But I can't. The last two shines I'm gonna get for this episode are gonna be inside a home. Or a shop, rather. They involve having... Expert timing skills across the way over toward here. So there's a whole bunch of crates that loom in, in like literally like a building over here. Look at Toadsworth. They're all just chilling. Wait, why y'all complaining? You good? Mario, is the princess going to be? Oh, so technically, technically this takes place while Peach is still kidnapped. So that's not good. Break all the crates within 30 seconds. Sure. Well, I didn't mean to do that for sure. But yes. It matters that uh, the Toads are still having a bad time here. You can break two of these boxes at once, as you can tell, by me saying in the center of two crates. And there we go. There's two Shine Sprites right there. So there no, there's not more sections like this. There's no, like, restaurant either. It's just, it's like a cleared out restaurant. So there's that. You could, you could get more if you want. You could... Well, actually, I am going to get more. Go right back to that same spot. It's one thing I don't like is, like, the Toads are still complaining that, like, Peach is gone. Peach is totally fine. That's what I love about Mario Odyssey is that there's plenty of, like, Peach adventuring and doing stuff. So people aren't complaining about her being gone or anything. Like, she's just doing her thing, you know? And obviously, Toadsworth and the crew are very concerned about her, of course, but, you know... She's gonna be fine, just like she's gonna be fine here, you know? Come on. 
Come on. Nope, I'm not gonna make it. Really? Jeez. Am I gonna die, actually? No, I gotta leave and come back. Okay. So close. One and two. It's just magically reset. Magically reset. All right. There we go. Just like this. And you want to just spam the ground pound thing there because, you know, you just want to go quickly in general. When you see your shadow above the crates, that's when you do that. You don't want to wait the entire time to maintain your momentum. I would have loved to had another one that was even quicker, like 15 seconds for the same amount or less. That would be really cool, but no. Nah, not gonna happen. That, that's where there's still a lot of opportunity for like a Sunshine sequel. We're just not gonna get it, it seems like. But anyway, that's 60 Shine Sprites right there. There's still more to get inside Delfino Plaza, but I'm gonna conquer those in the next episode uh, along with the 100 coins and then blue coins and all that. So, see you for more sunshine soon, all right? Bye.